but sajal sir is like a elder brother to me without doubt sajal sir uh, is there for not only civil services for, but other matters also uh, the first person if something happens and uh, the first person i used to contact is sajal sir it is not only my success but it is a success of my family and civil daily also but civil daily played a crucial role uh, in my rank and i wrote means with the help of civil daily uh, and i can feel i i, I feel uh, that i feel that in the exam hall itself that something better i have done this time after getting the interview call i texted sajal sir firstly that sir this this is something that i am desiring for long that is happened because of you like that uh, being from rural background and uh, poor english poor communication skills hampered my communication with the uh, persons that might have been available in pune uh, a feeling of inferiority was there so i decided to skip that attempt of 2018 after mid 2018 i decided to uh, consult a doctor uh, that i am uh, feeling this stress anxiety i am having difficulty in breathing regular breathing kaun nahi chahta ki uska mentor ek upsc ranker ho 2021 ke final results mein civil daily is ke 200 se bhi zyada selections hain guys i am going to connect you one to one with civil daily rankers for free these ranker will prepare a timetable and a personalized plan for you ye toppers aapko exactly wahi batayenge ki kaun si book follow karni hai kaun sa chapter padhna hai they will guide you in answer writing mocks and accessing them don't miss this golden opportunity to get mentored by a ranker सिर्फ हंगामा खड़ा करना मेरा मकसद नहीं कोशिश ये है कि पूरी बुनियाद हिलनी चाहिए मेरे सीने में ना सही तो तेरे सीने में सही है कहीं भी आग लेकिन आग जलनी चाहिए आग जलनी चाहिए नमस्कार दोस्तों आज का ये टॉपर स्टॉक थोड़ा डिफरेंट है ये कहानी थोड़ी अलग है ये जिस आग जिस चिंगारी की मैं बात कर रहा हूँ उस चिंगारी के बदौलत आज ये जो स्टोरी है ये कहानी है ये थोड़ी डिफरेंट है हमारे एक एस्पिरेंट जिनका नाम है सोहन यूपीएससी सिविल सर्विस के परीक्षा में टू रैंक पाने वाले इनकी स्टोरी इनक्रेडिबल स्टोरी है आई थिंक अगर आप इस वीडियो को अंत तक देखेंगे तो शायद आप रिलेट कर सकते हैं इनकी कहानी एक ऐसी कहानी है जो कि हर दूसरे एस्पिरेंट की कहानी है शायद इंडिया में हर दूसरा आदमी उससे जूझ रहा है वो क्या है वो है अनजाइटी अटैक वो है इमोशनल अटैक सोहन ने दो में यह ठान लिया था कि भाई मैं फर्स्ट अटेम्प्ट में ही एग्जाम फोड़ दूंगा ये बात उसको इतनी घर कर गई ये बात इतना ज्यादा वो अपने मेंटल प्रेशर में लेने लगा कि उसको एनजाइटी अटैक आ गया इनफैक्ट वो एग्जाम नहीं दे पाया 2018 का 2000 फिल्म्स का अठारह का फिल्म्स नहीं दे पाए डॉक्टर्स की सलाह लेनी पड़ी उनको रात को नींद नहीं आती थी 11 बजे सोने जाते थे तो चार बजे भी जगे रहते थे सिर्फ इस टेंशन में कि मैं पहली बार एग्जाम कैसे क्लियर करूंगा अगर ये आपकी कहानी है तो जरूर देखिएगा इस वीडियो को एक सोहन जो 2018 में बिल्कुल एंजाइटी अटैक जहां पे डॉक्टर की प्रेस्क्रिप्शन से वो जी रहे थे 2021 के जो सोहन एग्जाम क्रैक किए हैं टू सिक्स सेवन रैंक ले आए ये एक मुहिम है ये एक जर्नी है सिविल जेली की जो मदद करती है ऐसे एस्पिरेंट्स को ऐसे लोगों को जो एग्जाम क्रैक करना चाहते हैं जो कुछ करना चाहते हैं अपनी लाइफ में यहां एक मैं बात मेंशन करना चाहूंगा कि वो चिंगारी जो आग जिसके जिसके बारे में मैं डिस्कस कर रहा हूं वो आग जलाई है हमारे सिविल डेली के फाउंडर सजल सर ने जो जीएस टॉपर भी रहे हैं 2017 के ये आग सजल सर ने सोहन के सीने में लगाई है जलाई है और सिर्फ उन्हीं की बदौलत आज वो रैंक टू है शायद उनको आई मिले अगर ना भी मिले तो जो जर्नी उनकी रही आप जरूर देखें आप जरूर सुने क्योंकि ये कहानी आपकी भी हो सकती है हम जरूरी नहीं कि हम अपनी गलतियों से ही सीखें ये बहुत जरूरी है कि दूसरों की कहानियों से हम प्रेरणा ले सकते हैं दूसरों की गलतियों से हम सीख सकते हैं तो ऑब्जर्व करिए एनालाइज करिए और सोचिए समझिए और अगर आप भी इस परेशानी से जूझ रहे हैं तो आई वुड सिंसियरली रिक्वेस्ट जो डिस्क्रिप्शन बॉक्स में लिंक है आप अभी फिल करिए अपनी ई मेल डालिए आप यहाँ अपना ई मेल फिल किए आपका मेंटरशिप कॉल आपकी काउंसिलिंग वहाँ इंतजार कर रही होगी Thank you so much, guys, and all the best. I'm going to welcome Soham, who is also a rank two six seven. He has cleared UPSC Civil Services Examination 2021 with an amazing, incredible rank two sixty seven. So, ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Soham. Thank you so much, uh, Soham, for 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 this uh, uh, for your time. And uh, uh, I mean, out of your busy schedule, I know you have a lot of plans. Uh, there, uh, since you live in your village. there are people who are asking you to come and attend a few 
uh, important lectures, important meetings, and deliver your speech. Uh, it matters a lot, yaar. Gaon ka ek banda jab itne bade level pe examination de raha ho aur wo crack kar leta hai, to wo misal to kya masiha ban jata hai. Bahut log aapke taraf dekhte honge and they wanted to look at look at you and wanted to become like you, right? So yes, sir. Yes, sir. So. Once again, congratulations on your success. It's our success as well. It's your parents' success as well. And I am literally so delighted. You can see my energy while talking to you. I mean, maza a gaya hai is success ko dekhe. So once again, congratulations. Thank you, sir. Uh, as you uh, as you have already mentioned that it is not only my success, but it is a success of my family and Civil Daily also. But Civil Daily played a crucial role uh, in my rank. Right, right. So we will start from the beginning um, because uh, the, the conversation we had um, actually um, it's, it's a very emotional journey and it's a very tough journey what you have come across. So step by step, how did you decide to go for a civil services exam? Why not any other exam? Why not engineering? Uh, the decision to go for civil services examination, uh, I took after completing my graduation. After completing the graduation, I was thinking about uh, what are the what are the ways I have currently. So one one way was private uh, sector job, and second was a civil service examination. And I thought that civil service examination can offer me a diverse opportunities, a diverse areas where I can actually work. And being a resident of uh, of village or uh, belonging to rural area. I know the value of government. I know the value of uh, government services, officers. If the officers are more people friendly, then they can create a miracle. And I want to do the same miracle for society. Right. So I think um, uh, uh, this has made you think that you wanted to reach out to lots of people because of this post. You wanted to help um, people who uh, who is struggling with this situation? Who, where you are coming from? You wanted to help those. Those, uh, uh, I think that that the entire genre. So yes, it's, a, it's actually uh, um, I would say a great thought process. I would say that uh, somebody will ask you that why you want to become an IS officer. So you have to be very certain, very clear that yes. this is the reason why I wanted to become this officer because it's an, it gives that opportunity, it gives that dynamism to help every people in our country to the remotest area by hook or by crook. And the that you have got an authority, you've got that power and with that power, you get more opportunity, you get more uh, dynamism to help those people. It's not only that uh, uh, out of sheer uh, helplessness, you are helping them. It's just you are you have also that authority with you. Yes, sir. Uh, as uh, I'm aware of the situation at the ground level, because uh, people are required to contact government officials for everything here, to construct roads, to have water through canals, uh, and electricity, etc. Very basic, basic facilities that in urban area we take it for granted. They are sought after in rural areas, and I have experienced that. I wanted to do something in that uh, after getting into the services, uh, there cannot be any better platform than the government services through which I can uh, I can really make this process more efficient so that people can uh, actually uh, feel uh, easiness in contacting me and I can relieve their uh, issues. This is the satisfaction that I am uh, running after, after, clear, after graduation. Right. So... Since you talked about your graduation, let yes. me ask you something about uh, why not? Why don't you tell me something about your schooling and then graduation? The schooling I completed my schooling in my village only. That is uh, the up to primary education in Sila Parishad uh, school mm -hmm. here in village. And after that, the okay. Sri Ram Vidyalaya Padvi was the name of high school. Uh, okay. After completing the uh, schooling here in the village, uh, I migrated to Baramati. Or I was uh, uh, keeping up and down to and fro journey for Baramati for 11th and 12th. After okay. that, for a graduation, I lived in a hostel in Baramati in the Pratishtan College of Engineering. And the 
best life i have ever lived society or from diverse backgrounds diverse habits diverse ideas that was something fruitful journey uh, for me and after completing the mechanical engineering from baramati i said to right so as we discussed how far is baramati from your home the baramati is around 38 to 40 kilometers from my home currently uh, at that time there was a issue in roads etc now it is improving rapidly and and were you commuting daily baramati from home to for for your uh, education during the 12th standard i used that route that is daily commuting from my home to baramati after and before okay. that i was in hostels right great so how was your experience at the hostel the hostel experience is must for uh, if you are a student you must live in a hostel because uh, hostel as i already mentioned we have students uh, not only from maharashtra but we have students from jammu and kashmir okay. so we get to know about a diverse background of uh, of india and i am amazed by the attitude of the uh, students who are coming out of the maharashtra because uh, they were mixed uh, with the uh, local students so naturally that it is difficult to identify whether you are from maharashtra or out of maharashtra so it it shows that the uh, fruit salad model we talk about culture cultural aspect of indian society where every diverse section of society if come together then it can create a beautiful things it was right. uh, everything about it. So let us talk happen with you. you would you like to talk about that after completing the graduation in 2017 i decided to go for civil services there are two options state civil service or union public service commission exam so uh, i came across many videos that someone has cleared this examination at the age of 2020 22 23 21 so i thought that i am already 23 at the time uh, after completing graduation so i shall take Uh, only one year to complete this entire process and get into the rank so i thought that uh, despite being not having any prior experience of uh, material or resources or syllabus or anything else about this exam process i thought that i can complete this entire process in one year and i decided to join foundation course and then i foundation course has some time Uh, in pune and after that the remaining time i used to plan something to study uh, like what planning i have i am doing is not practical it is not achievable uh, it was something idealistic so after complete uh, after a daily not able to finish the targets i started to feel pressure i started to feel stress anxiety and what uh, i can mention everything uh, uh, the person that that feel if he has anxiety i was suffering from that so uh, after mid 2018 i decided to uh, consult a doctor uh, that i am uh, feeling this stress anxiety i am having difficulty in breathing regular breathing i used to feel uh, normal uh, after waking from the sleep i but the issue was i am not able i was not able to sleep if for example if i am going to bed at 11 am i was founding i am Uh, not able to sleep uh, till 4 am or 5 am in the morning so it it affected my health uh, so, so lack of sleep stress so, anxiety since you, since you mentioned that um you're going to sleep at 11 am 11 pm sorry and then later it was found that till 4 pm you couldn't sleep so what were the questions yeah till 4 am what were the questions what what were you thinking kya chalta tha waise brain mein सर ब्रेन में तो ये चलता था कि आई यूज टू जस्ट थॉट अबाउट व्हाट आई स्टडीड इन अ डे आई यूज टू रिवाइज इन माइंड और आई यूज टू व्हाट वी कैन से रिगिंग इन द एयर दैट व्हाट एवर व्हाट एवर स्टेटमेंट्स फ्रॉम द ऑप्शनल सर आई हर्ड आई यूज टू गेट द रिगिंग इन द एयर दैट वाज द सिचुएशन इट वाज आई थिंक इट वाज क्रिटिकल 
so i thought that uh, enough is enough uh, now i have to consult a doctor then i met a doctor doctor suggested something me that plan your uh, time table appropriately you are burden yourself a lot now what happened that during the foundation course i have no one to talk to uh, talk with there are people definitely but uh, being from rural background and uh, poor english poor communication skills uh, hampered my communication with the uh, persons that might have been available in pune uh, the feeling of inferiority was there so i decided to skip that attempt of 2018 and uh, still the situation was no, not normalized until uh, 2019 attempt but i was able to manage some a little bit the situation and gradually i came out of that and i'm very happy now that i beat that, that situation once and i can beat that situation in lifetime any time i face that wow it's um so here i wanted to actually point out that um, i am glad and i am literally happy that um, you have um, you fought with those situation yes sir every second indian every second aspirant is going through with this situation what yes. matters the most is that you wanted to succeed in your life you wanted to make these things at sit at the back door you yes, you actually consciously you want to stop it i know subconsciously it is getting every time you are getting reminded from your subconscious mind but somehow consciously you wanted to stop it you wanted to quit these yes, things sir. yes sir so this is the difference between you which makes you a talker and others who could not able to fight this situation because of obvious xyz reasons so yes sir so guys i here i would like to tell you that um, in 2018 um, soham wanted to crack upsc but because of stress because of that anxiety issue he got an anxiety attack and he couldn't he couldn't appear for that examination basically so unfortunately just because of stress anxiety tension these negative words he could not sit in that examination he has to consult a doctor and the doctor said yaar tum break le lo क्या क्यों क्या कर रहे हो अपने साथ एंड दिस इज दिस एवरी सेकंड स्टोरी ऑफ ऑफ एवरी इंडियन ऑफ एवरी एस्पिरेंट अब आई थिंक लिसन टू व्हाट सोहम इज सेइंग अब अगले नेक्स्ट क्या होता है सो सोहम व्हाट हैपेंड इन 2019 वुड यू टेल अस अबाउट इट यस सर देयर वाज आई थॉट अबाउट क्विटिंग दिस बट आई हैड ऑप्शन टू व्हाट टू क्विट आई नो दैट आई हैव टू क्विट समथिंग whether it is a civil service exam preparation or whether something different so first thought was to quit civil service examination uh, but i thought that i have spent some time on that and i am gradually recovering from that then let's quit something else and let's quit this anxiety stress uh, unreasonable uh, planning unreasonable time tables let's quit everything that i can uh, to make this happen so uh, in 2019 uh, i wrote uh, prelims and fortunately i was able to clear that and after that also i was living in pune and uh, during that time and uh, i decided to go for mains and uh, i was not uh, i was not thinking that i, I was not ex- expecting to clear the prelims you were not prepared I, you were not prepared basically for mains yes but still fortunately i i able to clear this and as i was not uh, having uh, i was not following the right path right strategy uh, uh, for mains i i created my own strategy which was not right as i can say currently so following the wrong strategy costed me in mains 2019 i missed the interview call by 20 marks but i i was expecting at least the interview call because uh, i i have read a uh, vast area i have completed the papers right. uh, so till result of uh, mains 2019 i was focusing on only positive sides so what positive i have done what beautifully i have created a diagram how beautifully i have concluded the uh, answer right but after failing in 2019 mains uh, the focus immediately shifted toward negatives what wrong i did in mains uh, right. so Uh, one of the wrong i did was a uh, wrong strategy that is not revising not writing i didn't write a single paper during that 2019 mains okay 
so i know that uh, my strategy is not right and if i am preparing some strategy for me then it might be biased uh, on my positive side i thought that someone shall be there who will identify my lacunas who will identify my negative sides and ask me to work on that so after shelling 2019 means uh, i started searching for various platforms who can do this for me who have experience in that field so fortunately i was uh, i was uh, seeing a video of civil daily student she was a female she was a female candidate i think she is a ips now and she was she was saying that uh, she was benefited a lot from civil daily mains test papers and mentorship and the questions repeated a lot uh, and she had a confidence that she had wrote something in test series and she is writing in actual mains also so that confidence helped her score uh, better despite some questions she was not aware of that still she able to uh, write something uh, significant uh, on that questions after uh, seeing that video i immediately uh, filled some link was there in civil daily website then a person contacted me uh, then person said that uh, he will connect to sajal sir but i was having inferiority complex at that time also i said that no need to connect sajal sir currently we will have that after later later on so that point i joined the civil daily for 2020 mains and after that i am continuing with the civil daily for 2021 mains also and hopefully for this mains also all right so um in in a nutshell uh dosto i would like to inform you i would like to tell you that in a nutshell um stoham started i mean he he regained that conscious he decided what to quit basically he chose to quit the anxiety he chose to quit the stress he chose to quit the negative emotions instead of quitting himself instead of quitting this journey what a positive step what a incredible step and what a decision uh, he has taken in his life i think we must get inspired from this decision simultaneously he cracked the prelims and unfortunately he was not prepared for mains and as because uh, when we spoke to uh, soham he said i was literally not prepared for mains i was not planned i i have not done any strategy it was i have read from different sources very less focus i failed in mains by 20 marks and then uh, i focused only on positive sides negative sides to maine dekha hi nahi and i think this was the mistake i think this was the mistake and soham is admitting the fact that he should he would have men should he would have um, uh, analyzed examined the negatives he would have i think cracked by 2019 or maybe 2020 so we will understand yeah. the journey of 2020 now so we understood what has happened with uh, soham in 2019 at 2019 he got connected with civil steel he got connected to sajal sir and then let us hear what happened in 2020 so soham what happened in 2020 yes uh, then i started to uh, write some test papers of, for for civil daily and i used to get call after some time from sajal sir he used to highlight what positive i have done uh, as i uh, used to highlight for myself earlier right simultaneously he also used to highlight some areas of improvement that you did this this is right but uh, it can be done with more appropriately do something more uh, like that do this is to write this uh, this way the uh, draw flow chart this way your conclusion shall be this way your introduction shall be like this uh, your sentences in the uh, answer sheet shall be like this uh, he will tell uh, you people then uh, the confidence started boosting uh, gradually gradually i Uh, i used to get gradually more and more marks in test papers i used to implement the instructions given by sajal sir then sajal sir was also happy uh, after seeing that whatever he is saying i am implementing that so that confidence helped me in clearing prelims with comfortable margin in second attempt uh, after clearing out getting out of the prelims i immediately contacted sajal sir uh, said that i am uh, clearing prelims in second uh, consecutive time so he also then uh, uh, started to look my exam papers with more strictness after prelims so the marks which i have uh, i am used to get, 
to get earlier before prelims, the marks reduced. The professor said that uh, I, I'm expecting something more from you. Mm. That this mistake shall not be repeated, and you are doing the re repeatedly same mistake. So uh, gradually, gradually, I also started improving on that, and I wrote means with the help of civil diary, uh, and I can feel I I, I feel uh, that I felt that in the exam hall itself that something better I have done this time than compared to first attempt mains. Uh, so after writing the mains uh, immediately. On the last day of optional papers, I feel that now interview call is must here, uh, as I have improved a lot in many areas, and and fortunately I got uh, interview call as well. After getting the interview call, I texted Sajal sir firstly that sir this this is something that I am desiring for long that has happened because of you like that. Uh, then uh, entire home was happy, entire family was happy after getting into the call, because it is a, something rare in my village, in my surrounding villages also, that is someone is being called by the UPSC to give, give interview in the Delhi. It was significant for everyone. Right, right. So, um, if we can, if we go back in time, so in 2018, your situation was extremely, extremely uh, in a negative, lopsided from negative side where you could not give prelims because of anxiety attack. And within just in a span of two years, you got connected to the right person. You got connected to Sajan Sir. You got connected to Civil Study. And boom, it's like 2020, you've got an interview call. Yes, sir. Incredible. Yes, yeah, sir. incredible. So um, you, you, your optional was PSIR, right? And your optional yes, was, you, you scored how much in your optional, sorry? 232 in first attempt, 278 in second attempt, and 290 in this attempt. All right. Amazing. Amazing. And how, what was your GS score in the last three attempts? In first attempt, I got 364. Uh, in second attempt, it was 401. And for this attempt, it is 406. All right. So, of course, I think we, we can see the graph in, on every yes, paper and, and everywhere. In fact, not only academic graph, your the graph of your confidence, the graph of your mental endurance, the graph of your um, uh, the the positivity in I think you have increased if you look back in 2018. So a yes, big difference I think uh, even me who is just connected with you um, recently um, I think Sajal sir knows a lot more about you and I think you guys definitely have a great bonding. And I literally admire that the fact that Sajal sir is literally, he is on a mission to yes, actually support, help and uh, uh, pull those aspirants who is in the dilemma, who are in, in, in this situation. And if, if needed small help, he will give that small help and then they will crack this examination. Yes. So, amazing. So, um, so could you please share give a thorough light upon your journey of 2021. Though, um, I think 2020, um, you did not qualify, right? Though you got the interview yes. call and you, you could not qualify. You yes. missed by, I think, how many marks you missed by? 12 marks. One? 12. 12 marks. Okay. Okay. So you missed 2020 by 12 marks. And then what happened in 2021 that we are talking here? Yes, sir. Uh, I was hopeful to get ranked. I was in Delhi only because some issue happened there and I was, uh, I was in contact with Sajal sir. Sajal sir told me that by today 6 p.m. we might get result. I was in uh, uh, Maharashtra Southern there uh, waiting for result uh, and some procedural formalities were remain at UPSC. So after getting the result, I was expecting a rank because I know that there, there is an improvement. But uh, unfortunately, after opening the PDF and putting my roll number on search bar, I seen that no result found uh, the tab. So I was very heartbroken. I immediately uh, told to Sajal sir. Sajal sir said that we will look what happened after result. Sajal sir was also expecting a rank for me. Uh, Sajal sir said that as yes, your attempt is uh, over, you can travel immediately to your home. You can prepare for next prelim. It is important. Procedural formalities, if any, then we can complete uh, that 
after prelims if required so i booked a, a airplane ticket for pune immediately then I, on the next morning i traveled to pune to home then from pune uh, and started uh, preparing for prelims immediately as suggested by sir uh, after some days uh, the mark sheet came and i shocked to see that uh, because of only one subject that is sa score was 93 yeah i missed the rank rank by 12 marks still my score and score of all india rank 399 was the same but uh, okay but still from the under the category uh, it was something around 360 or 370 uh, rank okay so i immediately forwarded that mark sheet to the sajal sir sajal sir said it's okay just one subject improve that this year and you will get rank so that was a confidence booster to me because only one subject uh, was there uh, which i have to improve so after that uh, despite being a less time i cleared prelims again but with less margin uh, or i i was in the bottle perhaps my prelim score and cut off of general category was exactly same oh. 87 87.54 yeah. so 0.01 yeah. difference here and there i was not able to write the wins and after that, uh, the same process continued. I used to write test papers sent to Sajal sir. Sajal sir used to give comments on that. Uh, he was he used to you low marks that uh, still you are doing something you are not supposed to do. And I used to improve on that. And I wrote a uh, men's uh, third time in a row continuously. Right. And I again felt some improvement after coming out of the exam hall. And perhaps after essay paper, I I knew that uh, I have improved my essay writing uh, greatly. So after completing all the papers, immediately my and my uh, uh, myself and my friend Omkar uh, was writing the mains on same center. After completing the optional paper, we both came out of the school, and I told him directly that not only interview call but rank is fixed this time. Uh, so uh, he, he also said that he also uh, have confidence on me. So uh, my journey. This was uh, also take a take a suggestion that I am expecting around two ninety in the PSIR and GS will also improve from four zero one and SA will also improve. So sir, sir said that uh, then uh, we can. Uh, Expect a two two digit rank at this time. Uh, ensure that you score one eighty in interview, and you will get two digit rank this time. Right. Uh, so after that, I started preparing for interview. As I was I was confident about interview call, and I, as expected, I got an interview call. Then I worked on interviews. Gave mock interviews. Have in Pune, some in Delhi. Uh, mock interviews were good. Uh, my final interview is also good compared to last year. So after that, uh, it was natural to expect rank, and as expected, the rank uh, 267 was allotted to me. Right. A um, lot of roller coaster, um, roller coaster things has been uh, were, were going on during the well, I think the third attempt in your journey, and yes, um, a lot of haphazard things has been. Um, planned work planned basically but the one thing which i really admire is like uh, you you were very consistent yes sir. because it's an old saying that uh, um, um we cannot start i mean you cannot uh, finish something right because you have to commit something then you can finish and if you have if you're not consistent then you can never achieve something so basically Commitment and consistent, I think, is the core value. Uh, you have started your journey from 2018 and now 2021. And with your sheer dedication and commitment, I think, incredibly, you have achieved, achieved this score. You would not believe 267 is your rank. I have just interviewed 266. Okay. Yeah. She is our student. Uh, her name is... Uh, uh, Anuradha. 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 Anuradha Taneja. Taneja Sureja. Yeah. So, uh, Suneja, sorry. Anuradha Suneja, 266. She came here in the office. Right now, I'm sitting in the center in the office. She came here and uh, 
it's very similar story the way you are defined it's literally similar story of um, battling uh, um, actually uh, the the mental battle the endurance the uh, stress of failure the fear of failure and uh, desire to crack upsc in first attempt everything was same so when i told her that uh, i am into i am conducting a topper talk of 267 she was like are wah sir <laughs> 266 mai 267 wo same story struggle sir we common hai sab kuch common hai maine kaha yes i am also common. so yeah so amazing yaar um now um, um we'll take we'll be very quick i'll ask three four more question um it is apart from academics okay uh, i'll ask something about uh, which is which will be very personal and uh, um it's very core to your heart so you said that uh, um you wanted to crack upsc in first attempt yes sir but uh, having said that this was also a major setback when you could not clear and you felt that oh my god how can i not clear in first attempt right yes sir so here guys i would like to mention that um uh, so hum's father is a farmer so hum's mother is a teacher and the the support of so hum's parents has been incredibly amazing i mean i would like so hum to tell me something about it that uh, he has got from his parents during this journey yes sir uh, basically after completing the graduation uh, i ask or for suggestion to my parents what should i do in uh, next couple years so my father said that realistically he, he is a realistic person he said that upsc if you are thinking about then it is a tough uh, examination there is a competition and uh, students from all across india will compete for some prize so uh, we cannot sure about getting into the services so uh, they you might miss you might waste your productive years in the in the preparation so rather than uh, completely focusing on preparation uh, do something job uh, and side by side prepare for examination that was a realistic advice uh, from my father side uh, while i was inclined toward upsc preparation only and not pursuing job i just uh, i just uh, see my mother what what her reaction uh, she said that uh, i am a primary teacher and i am having 7 to 8 years of service remain Means you are having six attempts. Till then, uh, your six attempts. I am in service, and I will uh, provide anything you wanted. Uh, I am earning member of our family regularly earning. So till your six attempts, I will support you uh, anything. It was something idealistic, inspiration for me. It boosted my confidence initially, and my desire also to get into the service in very first attempt. that was the basic story right um the one thing which touched um touched me and and the um, entire people whom i have shared your story is like your mom telling that um uh, she has got only 6 7 years of job left and you've got six attempt till the time i'm here you don't have to worry about your finances your age so i mean yeah it is is like i don't have any words to express the gratitude and in fact um as i already discussed with you i would i would um uh, like to give a big 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 well done and congratulations to your parents as well um yes. of course uh, they have literally they have burned the midnight oil for you and uh, yes. and simultaneously um it's it was your responsibility it was your duty it was your virtue that you are here at this time uh, yes, so uh, there are one more one or two questions um, i think we have we are going to finish this one so when when i was talking to you uh, um of the records you mentioned about the age factor yes sir you you thought that initially um, since you are 23 and once you become an ias or ips or you crack to be a you will become civil servant at a very young age but yes, time has made you realize that age is not important what did you feel yes, that time when you crack upsc 2021 and when you look at look back in 2018 so what thought process has changed from 2018 to 
Yes, uh, uh, I was expecting much more from uh, me during the 2018-2019 period. Uh, I was very passionate about cracking in the very first attempt as it is considered as prestigious or something significant rather than significant rather than clearing the examination. Uh, civil services is the only one aspect of your, our life. Uh, there are much more, more valuable and important things in our life. That is uh, our health, our relations with other people, uh, our parents. Uh, because uh, the worst case situation, I cannot think of that what might have happened that I, if I might not have changed my path. So I can definitely say that have a perseverance, but at the same time be realistic and didn't expect much in this journey. The more you expect, less are chances to get into service. Just do your basic right and uh, let it to the court to do other things that are required to clear the examination. Be less expectful and more uh, oriented toward your work, your steps, your strategy, proper strategy. That's important. Right. So um, the the result thing which you have just said it reminds me about a shlok uh, uh, of Mahabharata when Arjuna when when Krishna when Krishna said to Arjun that karmane vadi karaste ma phaleshu katachana ma karm phala hetu bhutmate sanghot shiva karmani is like that this is this is valid now only and this will be valid in future also in future every time that every you time. are not allowed to actually stick to the results results yeah. is depending on a lot of factor other than what you are thinking yes so definitely stay away from the results and do your karma your karma is your dharma and just keep doing it and just forget about the results and this is how i think when you detach yourself from the results of whatever you have done that is where you, you achieve goals. That is where you move forward in life. Yes, sir. 100%. Right. Great. So, uh, last but not the least, uh, two more questions. Yes, sir. Uh, through this medium, would you like to say something about uh, or uh, something from your end to Sajal, sir? So, to talk about Sajal, sir, time will be uh, not sufficient, I can say, if I, I have to express everything about Sajal, sir. But Sajal, sir, is like an elder brother to me, without doubt. Sajal, sir, uh, is there for not only civil services, but, but other matters also. And the first person, if something happens, and the first person I used to contact is Sajal, sir. Just text him that this has happened. Sajal, sir, will give uh, something uh, appropriate advice. That was the channel, I, I can say that I am fortunate that I connected with the Sajal sir, uh, particularly that he, he guided me not only for the civil service examination, but other aspect of this examination, then uh, other, other many things that I have already mentioned that after uh, failing in 2020 interview or getting failed to get rank, he advised me very properly that uh, leave the other thing behind, first go to your home and start uh, preparing for prelims. If uh, I didn't have Sajal sir on my side, then I might have spent more days in Delhi completing the procedural aspect and I might have missed the prelims. That was the advice which changed my life currently. I am having 267 rank because of that one advice. That it signifies the uh, importance of Sajal sir in my journey in UPSC. Great. Um, uh, I would really want Sajal sir to listen to this and I'm sure that the uh, words Words are uh, actually, uh, you, you are filling a shot of words to express this feeling, to express the gratitude, to express uh, whatever he has done uh, for you to achieve. It's, it's his duty and um, he honestly is discharging his duty and definitely it's, it's my duty to um, actually present those things. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update from Seville's Daily.